Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you how to make this super simple voltage booster. It uses a few components, transistor, transformer, a diode and a capacitor. The diode and capacitor are to filter the output and obtain DC. But if you need AC at the output, you can eliminate these two components and your circuit will be only one transistor and the transformer. The only component that may be hard to find is the little transformer, but you can find one in a lamp such as this one, CFL lamp. Inside you will find the circuit that has this component. It is not a transformer, this is an inductor, but we will convert it to a transformer. This is the little inductor. We have only a single coil. And in order to make it a transformer, we need to wind a primary. We, we will use the original coil as secondary because it has a lot of turns. So what we need to do is to take off the tape in order to open the ferrite core and wind our primary here. The primary has 24 turns with a center tap. That is, you will take your magnet wire and make 12 turns. Then you will have the center tap and then wind another 12 turns. So here it is. This is the start of the primary. You make 12 turns, your center tap, another 12 turns and here is the end of the primary. Well, this is the circuit. Very simple, as you can see. The transformer that we just made from the inductor of the CFL lamp. Here is the primary. And we have our transistor. You can use almost any NPN transistor. I am using the 2N2222A, which is very common. And you will wire it as seen here in the diagram. This part here, the transistor together with the coils form an oscillator. Therefore, we will have a varying magnetic field in the transformer that will induce a higher voltage in the secondary. The voltage in the secondary is higher because here we have 12 plus 12 turns and the coil from the original inductor has more than 100 turns therefore here you will have a higher voltage and we have the diode and capacitor in order to rectify that voltage which is ac at the output of the coil of course you need a capacitor that can support a higher voltage than that of the secondary and the voltage in the secondary depends on the voltage at the primary. For example, using one volt at the primary, you get around 30 volts in the secondary. The diode is a common diode. I am using a 1N4007 diode. So, simple circuit. Let's see it working. 
So I have everything connected, the power supply and the multimeter at the output of the circuit in order to check the output voltage. This circuit works from as low a voltage as 0.6 volts. Let me turn it on. There it is. And of course, if we increase the voltage at the primary, we get a proportionately higher voltage at the output. Here at one volt, we have uh, almost 90 volts in the output. And we can increase and obtain higher voltages. It is important to note that the output of this circuit is not regulated. That means that when you connect a load to the circuit, the voltage will drop. Therefore, you need to adjust the primary voltage with the load connected to the output in order to adjust the final voltage. So there you have it, a super simple voltage booster circuit. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.